On there. Do you want me to stop on yes, that one? Yes, on that one. Yeah. On that particular one there. Yeah. Okay. So that's your card. I'll just take, take your card. Okay. But, but don't show it to anybody. Or no, 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 no. seen it. So do you think that Brenda... Have you seen these things on TV where they have to get husbands and wives up and they get points for getting the answers? Right? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. But no chance. No, 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 no chance. I've got no prizes for this on Australia. Yeah. No, so no, this, is this is a no chance of guessing. Oh, right, this is another Is it? Yeah, she appears twice in the magazine, once lying, once vertically and once horizontally. I couldn't find any men, men right? Yeah. So there's six of these. Did you count them? No, I can't go through them again. <laughs> <laughs> so the good news, Wayne, is I give these away. Thanks. <laughs> but there is some bad news today. It's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Peking that. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't quite work with Beijing, does it? <laughs> so, L Laurie, she um, is going to go down into the pack and she's going to pull out a, a, a playing card. Not any, your card. So I'm going to make, ask you to make your mind go a blank. And um, three. Seven of spades. So seven of spades. The duck goes down into the pack, she comes up with one card. Dexter, Keith, a miracle. Not only does she find the seven of spades, but she changes it into the ace. <laughs> so, so you see, my tricks don't always really work. And, uh, so I was at this party and this woman... Because I think it's, fun, it's better to entertain people than make them feel silly. So she said, we're paying you an awful lot of money and your tricks aren't working. <laughs> so I said, don't worry, there's plenty of time for to work. So sometimes the tricks appear to go wrong and then they come out right in the end. So, um, uh, Laurie, would you like to sort of ask one of the ladies to call out an, a number between one and ten? No. Yeah. Seven. Seven. And are you a Laurie? Lawrence. I'm a Lawrence. Lawrence. You're a Lawrence. Yeah. Um, so, Lawrence, uh, we've got seven. You can choose a, another number. Three. Three. So, we're going to use the number 37. Is that okay? Three and seven. I'll just write it here. 37. I'm going to put up some numbers as well. That's a 6. And a 5, a 10, a 3, and a 19. I don't know if anybody's ahead of me yet. 18, 6. Now, Dexter, I imagine you'd be good at numbers. So here we have the chosen number 37, Mel and uh, Lawrence. Now we're going to put a line down here, a line here, and a line here. Can everybody see the board? Yeah. Right, so if we take the, um, the centre four, that's 10 and 8, that's 18, 21 and 16 makes 37. If we go along the bottom row here, we've got 4, 22, 28 and 9 makes 37. 17, 18, 30, 37. If we take the four corners, there's a 17 and of course 21. 28 and 9 makes 37. Now, now um, Keith, Can you we, go down the, <laughs> we go down the diagonal here, so you've got 9 and 3 is 12, 8 is 20, 37. If we go up this diagonal here as well, I'm, I'm glad you chose the right number. <laughs> and then um, that diagonal, that one, all the columns, all the rows, and if you take um, a, a 3 by 3 square, like this, this, this one here, you've got 4, 10, uh, 20. <laughs> I've been doing magic since I was like 10 years old. We've, we've brought people from Britain's Got Talent and we supply magic. Okay. Hi, my name is Nick Pico and yes that's my real name and I'd like to show you this little three card trick which is one that we sometimes make for companies. See the Queen is in the centre and she's also a different colour on the back. And the idea is that you have to watch where the queen goes. So I'm going to remove the queen. This is the card with a different colour back. And you can see she's got been taken away. When we turn this one over, we say the magic words, company slogan, company strap line, and it turns into a business card or a corporate message. Now, 
five pound note is we show both both sides and then we just fold it once, twice, three times like this. We say the magic words, hey presto. Oh. oh it's done it again. I don't know if you can remember one of these. Can you see those? And uh, sometimes you do this trick and the audience um, can't always remember the cards, which is a bit of a problem. Um, but sometimes you, what happens is you sh they get a mental block. Um, as you can see here we've got a mental block and this, this particular card seems to have gone blank. Um, so maybe the fourth of card isn't even here anymore. Well, here we have uh, three cards with the middle middle card being the Queen of Hearts. This is a, a corporate giveaway or can be used at exhibition stands. The Queen is also a different colour on the back. She's blue. So the audience remove the Queen and when it's turned over it's the corporate message. In this case it's my business card. Or, I know, what's the last one? Is that seven? Yes. Oh, I knew that. You were just rope trick. <laughs> 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 so put, put the cards inside the glass. And it's not a normal card trick, Vince, because you have to tell me the name of the card you just chose. Five. Trust me, I'm a magician. Five. Five. It's Six. your card, yeah. Six of diamonds. Six of diamonds. So from the centre of the pack, you can see this one coming out. No! Oh, no! No! Do I have a... Some magician, they do two in case one doesn't is work. It, is it, so, is it, where is it? We've done the first one. Yeah. You, and I'll, I'll try and find Alan's card. This is where you have to be the woman. You can see. Okay. So I ask the girls, could, could they hold this? <laughs> but they, they'll need two hands. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> hold it with two hands, okay? Oh, you're nice and warm. <laughs> Look at it's that. come straight up. <laughs> That's very good. Thank you. Oh, no. right. I don't know how you get those cards up. No. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was going to. Ex I was going to explain that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it worked with you. <laughs> Now you have to be honest here, I want you to remember one card that you can see. Yes. Go on, do you want to whisper it to... Who? Um, well, whisper it Paul? to Paul, yeah. Nice and quietly so we can't... Does anybody hear that? No. no. Yeah. Do you want to whisper it... Paul, you have to whisper it to Garen and go on to And um, Gary, if you can whisper it to uh, Alan, because he doesn't want to feel left out. <laughs> okay? So, everybody else doesn't know what it is, but... Um, is it red? No. Ooh. Definitely not a red one. No. Okay. Black one. <laughs> <laughs> on, it's good this <laughs> <laughs> would, it, would it be, um, it's not a club. No. No, no got, not a club. No. So it's... Um, who, lost, who lost an iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the card on the table. Black <laughs> iPhone. Ten of spades? Yeah. 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 They normally get a bit more... Oh, they might get more... <laughs> Let me show you that it's the ten of spades. Yeah. There we go. I have yeah. That is good. Yeah. 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 Show you how, how we do the trip with the ten of spades. Though. There's the ten. Yeah. Okay. If I push it in there for in, um, Gary, yeah. it jumps back to the top. You see, do it again. Push it in the middle, and it jumps up to the top. Do it again. Hey. Some, you got in there. Ah. Some people think I've got more than one ten of space. Yeah, I'll tell you have. Here's the ten of space. Yeah. I'll push it into the middle like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. It's not on the top. Yeah. And it's not on the that top. It's not on the bottom. The other top is the middle. So Gary, I'll, <laughs> I'll give you I'll give you what's in my wallet if you can find more than one ten of space, okay? Off you go. Just take the toilet. <laughs> I'll, I'll get the um... <laughs> if you can't find one, you've got to get it. If you can't find one, if you can't find one, if you can't find one, if you can't find one,
Yeah. Funny you've got knobs on your head. A lot of people say, how do you get, how does it stay up there? So you just have to lick it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll stop there. No, Thank no, you. No, no. Oh. Two more. Two, Two more. more. So, should we do the one you like? The one that you spoke about earlier, yeah. Oh, oh, I know, I'll do it, yeah. So, we'll do the trick with the two aces, because I like that one. Yeah. You might not like it, but I do. <laughs> There's the ace of hearts and the ace of diamonds. Or would you like to do it with the black one? It's not aces. The aces. <laughs> <laughs> It's not fair, it's not nice, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no. so we do, we, <laughs> he didn't look impressed, was <laughs> Okay, we'll do it with the Ace of Hearts and the Ace of Diamonds. Did you, did you, see, me do this? Did no. you see me do this last week? No, no, no. no. Okay. So they've got the Ace of um, Diamonds and the Ace of Hearts. Okay, so I have to get this round the right way, otherwise my lines don't work. So there's the Ace of Hearts and there's the Ace of Diamonds. So if you hold your hand like a fist with the thumb on top, okay? So I'm going to put the ace of diamonds underneath your little thumb like that, okay? Well, it's not that little thumb, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and I need to be able to pull it out easily, so don't hold it too okay, tight. Right, yeah. So you've got the ace of diamonds, yeah. I've got the ace of hearts, so, okay? So you've got the diamonds, yeah. I've got this one, so I'm now going to give you my heart. It's very romantic, isn't it? So I'm going to take your diamond. Is your diamond on the bottom or is it on the top? Is the diamond on the top or on the bottom? Without looking. God, you went a bit quick for him, did you? <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you top. top. Yeah. Top. Sure. Are you not convinced? I'll be fair, yeah, you went a bit quick for me. Yeah. <laughs> you turn, turn over the top one, and you've got the... Oh, you did it. <laughs> and the other one... Another one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as near. It. <laughs> so, you're right, they've gone. They've gone. <laughs> so look, I'll put the two jokers down there. No, we we'll do the conventional one, which is you choose a card and I find it. Okay. Who who's volunteering? Will. Show it to um, Nigel. Show it, show it over there to Simon. Are you filming? Yeah. Yeah. Simon. I, can't, Simon. I can't see this. Okay. Turn the Turn so that's down. a total, total free, free choice of cards. And I'm going to ask Alan to take the pack, push your card back into the pack while Alan holds it. I am happy. Okay, very good. <laughs> so Alan's asked me if I could um, do a trick tomorrow on the open day. So can you give me a number, Alan, between 1 and 10? 8. You want to go for number 8, sure? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to deal down to the 8th card. I'm not going to do it, so I'm going to let Vince do it. That's card number 1, Vince. That's card number 2. 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, this is number eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was your card, Will? Two of diamonds. Two of diamonds, I hope it's a two. No! Oh, hey! So this is no camera trick. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's magic. It is. 